Kevin, the uh, defense has been a you know a continuing topic so far early in the season. I mean, were you guys feeding defensively off of hitting some shots early, or was this kind of just getting back to the basics of how you're supposed to be playing defense? <clears throat> I mean, we've been hitting shots all year. I feel like shooting over 50 percent, over 47 percent, and we still didn't play defense. So I wouldn't say just because we were making shots, we played defense tonight. I just thought that the sense of urgency was there. Um, guys know in respect of this team, and we knew they can get hot on us, which they did there a couple spurts throughout the game, but we stayed poised. Um, you know, in the league now, teams can run off, hit a couple threes, timely threes, and get back into the game. So I think we uh, we did a good job of keeping them in front of us, and we was able to get a win. Kevin, you uh, passed Vince all-time leading scorers today, and did the math. If you play 70 games at this pace, you'll end up top 10 all-time leading scorers. Just what does it mean for you to even be in that list? It um, means a lot. I mean, I love to score the ball. I mean, that's the name of the game. That's why we play basketball is to put points on the board um, and to shift the game and be a, be mentioned with the greats. And, you know, so to pass somebody I looked up to as a kid, my first NBA jersey was Vince Carter's when he was in Toronto. And, um, you know, so that's a full circle moment for me, and um, grateful that for all my teammates along the way that helped me throughout the these years, my coaches as well, everybody just chipped in and and, and helped make me the player that I am today. So I just got to keep going. Kevin, I got two for you. Kind of going off of Christians. I mean, you're always conscious of your stats and whatnot. Did did you know going into this game and then a couple games ago, and I think you passed Alex English. You know how close you were within striking distance. No, I don't, I, I, no, nah, I don't know how many total points I got. That's uh, it's hard to track. But while I'm in the game, I kind of you know, I know how many shots I'm taking. I know what shots I took before, and I try to stay conscious of that stuff. But no, I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, you know, um, Vince was on the ne was next up uh, until they start putting it on the on the. Uh, jumbotron during the game, so pretty cool, man. It's, longevity is what makes you uh, a great in this league. So I want to continue to keep on. And what are your thoughts on Yuta with you guys this season? It doesn't—he doesn't look like a guy that hasn't played with you guys before when he's out there. Yuta <clears throat> uh, just knows how to play the game of basketball. And, you know, he played with Toronto, who you know they do a good job individually of developing their players on both ends of the ball, just the IQ for the game. And you could tell that he's learned from them. Um, so you might not be a big name, but he's been putting in work the last couple of years. And, you know, so it's good to see him go out there and, and play well for us. Kevin, after the last week, how much of a relief is it just for the group to get a win? Wins are always, you know, incredible. It's tough to win in this league. It's tough to be successful in this league. So, you know, it's easy to take this stuff for granted because we play so many games and we got so we put so much high expectation on ourselves as a team and as individuals. But when you sit back and think about it, it does feel good to get a W. It feels good going home. It feels good going to sleep and uh, and going into the next game. So you're looking forward to tomorrow. What changes the most without Ben out there? Um. <clears throat> I mean, guys are just, I mean, you know, you just play a little harder when you got guys that are out and, you know, you got more opportunities and, you know, guys got to step up, you know, and lock in and focus even more. So we got to keep that focus up going forward. I think Joe had three steals, something like that tonight. Just what did you see from him on the defensive end? Um, more than the, the stats, I think he just stay in front of his guy, which allowed him to get those, his hands on some basketball. He's got a couple of block. Did he have a block? Yeah, he had a block too. So, uh, but more than anything, he just stayed in front of the basketball, played tough, and guarded up pretty well. So we're gonna need that, uh, need him to be consistent there, and we also the guys around him need to be even more consistent as well. Kev, you guys opened the third quarter with back here. Uh, opened the third quarter with I think three straight catch and shoots, and you guys shot 36% uh, from three, which is the second best in the season. What went into that? Did you feel like the looks were better tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we've been getting good looks all year. It's just a matter of us knocking them down as a make or miss league. You know, it's going to be uh, – you're going to have peaks and valleys with your shooting. But I think tonight when we fed off our defense, we weren't taking the ball out of the basket every time. That helps us, gives us more confidence when we shoot that ball. We get a little cushion. Now guys are shooting it with confidence. So, um, you know, it all – you know, everything plays a factor in to you playing well. It's your focus, your, you know, how hard you play on defense, you know, boxing out, contesting shots, all that stuff adds um, to the offensive side of the basketball. And tonight we did the little things well.